Hey there, welcome to the Mountain of God. My name is Kamil. Today is 15 of May 2021. Welcome to video number 25. Today I want to talk about another amazing gift, which is the gift of discernment of the spirits. This is something that I kind of know about a lot. And I've seen people who've been dealing with this and struggling to some degree with this gift. But because I was always fascinated with it, I wanted to talk about it to give you at least my perspective. It's not going to be, you know, it, it, it's the thing that I kind of discovered about it and, and why I'm basically fascinated with this, with this gift. But because we, we don't see this gift or we don't hear about this gift enough, in, at least in my opinion, then that, that's why I wanted to kind of spend some time to think about it to, to give you just a few sentences about it because it is very important gift. I'll say it again. It's a very important gift. So listen, if I would have to summarize this gift in just one sentence, I would say that it's God-given ability to see the world as it is, not how it's portrayed. You see, the whole deal about this gift is that you basically see the truth. No matter what somebody's saying, no matter no matter what, what's happening, no matter what's what is what, what might seem that it's happening, you always know the truth. And there are three levels that this gift might be used on. First of all, it's on a social level. This gift basically at least as far as I know, it basically makes you feel whatever somebody's coming to you with. Whether they're burdened, whether they're having some some demonic oppression over there, whether whatever, no matter what they're coming to you with, you know exactly what's the truth. So you know if they're lying. There, there's like an organizational level. If you're going into the organization, the political I don't know, party, maybe you're going to some place of, I don't know, car mechanic, or you, you're being part of the church, you exactly know what's going on in those places. This is something that, that just basically gives you the ability to feel what kind of stronghold it is. And then at the social level, again, as we said, nobody will be able to lie to you because you know the truth. And then you can see the same thing on territorial level. When you enter the city or enter the country and you f know exactly what is the stronghold of it. What is the strongman above this town? What is, what is the principality uh, above this country? And obviously, it all depends on what is the level that you've been, this, 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 this gift was given to you or how deep you were able to go. But it may go as far I don't know if that's the last level, but at least some, some of the deeper ones. I, that I heard about people who are so deeply submerged in this gift that not, it's not only that they know, but they're shown the spiritual world. They can see angels and they can see demons. And you see, I've seen some people struggling with this gift because, it, let's say it straight, it's not easy. What would happen? How would you feel if no matter who's coming to you, talking to you or asking you for something and you would know exactly what they mean, you would know exactly what's their hidden agenda, you would know exactly what they're struggling, uh, struggling with. In a social level, you, you would have to basically or tell them the truth because you know it or you would, you would have be able to, to just shut up and keep it for yourself how long you'll be able to do one or the other, which is so much extreme. Because in general, in a social context, we just basically move around the you know, level of average. We don't, we are not those who are, or this is what is, what is kind of um, a social norm, not to put everybody, you know, against the wall because, you know, you know the truth or, or you just basically do nothing because you know that, this person is going to crash because of what they're dealing with. So you see, that's why I've seen people who basically abandon the gift or try to put it away for as long as they can, or they struggled for, for years to understand about this gift. 
the same thing is going to go if you go into any organization or even worse being part of this kind of organization you'll always know what's the truth so even the leadership will have issue with you because or you're going to say over and over again don't do this do that you're like a you're like a judge or like a you know prophet who basically stand and bring uh, breathes uh, on their neck or you're going to be sitting quiet and you basically be tired of being in this organization because you knew that there's always someone who's doing something wrong and not even mentioning at the territorial level because that's that's completely completely different level so when you look at it from this perspective it seems like a very terrible thing to have because it seems like a curse in the long run it's going to tire you tremendously but you see that's why i was so fascinated with this gift for years i tried to kind of figure out why from one side i see that this is such a huge huge demanding gift if i may say that but on the other side I, there was something in it that drawn me to it and when when i started to think about it and, and kind of measure it with my engineering mindset because i'm it engineer for those of you who don't know me i started to see all those rules that i've been saying all you know in all those previous videos there are two rules that kind of push me toward thinking that there's so much more behind it so first of all, nothing is given to you by accident. Everything is premeditated. So looking at this gift from this perspective, it means that if you've been given that gift, it means that your father consciously has faith-ish in you that you'll be able to be enough, mature enough to deal with social ramifications that you'll be mature enough to be socially equipped, to be smart enough, to be intelligent enough, to be emotionally stable enough, so you'll be able to deal with this gift. The same thing on organization level. So this gift was given to you because you were seen as a person who will be able to deal with all, the, all this darkness that goes in a social level, in organizational level, in a territorial level. But then, uh, something that was kind of obvious for me from beginning when I started to think about whatever happens in, you know, in, in, in uh, basically all the spiritual life, you know, with Father and, you know, his interactions, is one of the things that, that was, that was fascinating enough to, when I put, put this against anything, it just makes it everything's clear. When he gives it, gives something to you, it means that he'll be able, he want to, he will want to use it. So it means that you will not only be able to capable to deal with this, to see all the darkness, especially if you're in submerged so so deep that you see, the, you know, the demon side of all of this with your own eyes. But then he'll be able, he want to use it, and you'll be capable of dealing with, of dealing with this. And that's why I see this gift as a very important one. Why? Because if you're like walking lie detector, no one, nobody, no organization, no territorial entity or his representative or representatives, nobody will be able to lie to you. So you're walking in complete truth. And because I don't really know the, how it works in my, you know, I, 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 I don't think I have this gift, or at least not at this level. So I want you to kind of understand that if you go really deep, then you will know all the truth. If you'll be able to be smart enough, have enough social skills to deal with people, which will require from you few things. But first of all, be socially smart enough, have enough self-confidence and enough ability communication-wise. So you'll be able to help people with truth, those who need the truth and be strong enough to let those who don't want your truth, don't want your truth and don't want your help to basically be able to deal with their own consequences of their own decisions. Seeing probably many of them had issues or really making their life miserable or terrible. On an organization level, you have to be a smart enough person to know your place, to know how much you can say 
how much you're supposed to say and it's exactly what the spirit of prophecy uh, or gift of prophecy which basically if you look or, or listen to the prophets who are dealing with this you know day to day they will tell you that it's like 90 percent of stuff will be given to you so you know and you're supposed to keep it for yourself maybe 10 percent is given to you to tell someone else and i would expect the same thing here you'd know so many dark secrets but only some of them will be those who that you're supposed to do with and and i'm not even i'm not even equipped enough and, and understand enough the spiritual warfare on a, on a territorial level to tell you anything but i guess if you are shown things over here it means that he wants you to see this and at some point he, he will know that you'll be able to deal with this and then that you'll be able to deal with the darkness that you see but then at the end of the day he will want to use it and he will equip you enough and you'll be able to deal with the whole process of training and equipping you with which not going to be easy exactly as with with the spirit of faith or the gift of faith that you'll be able to be used in this and this is one of the things that kind of fascinates me because if you see the person who is able to walk in complete truth being capable of dealing with this whole darkness and then being able to be led to be mature enough to use it in some of the cases this person not only be able to change people's lives this person is not going to be only able uh, capable of uh, changing the organizations and uh, helping them leading them to purity and to uh, complete relationship and complete cooperation with god but this person will be able to have to, to change nations because of the anointing that this person has because of the truth that they see this person if it's if, if this person is mature enough they're gonna really flip this flip this world upside down because if you see things god is showing you something and he'll be who he want to use it in it there's no one and nothing is going to go against you because you know the truth all the time and you know how to use it so that's why it's amazing gift for me and i would say that from my perspective what i understand right now about it i would say that this is one of the most important gifts and unfortunately we don't see this gift used or even heard heard about in the churches why because look where the churches are look as jesus says you will see how things work by the fruits of the labor i don't know what's what's exactly in the english bible this 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 fragment what how it's exactly is saying that but it's all about you will see by the by the impact the consequences what's happening inside and what is the success rate or what is what what is what is the result of church doing what he's supposed to do or it's supposed to do at least what I see, the church is on the defense. Unfortunately, even though we say that we know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, we don't see church, you know, basically changing the world right now. At least not to the degree that we would expect to. There are people, that there are places that, you know, churches are under attack. And there are many amazing things happens. And then, for some reason, this is, this is something that pushes us to be efficient but unfortunately in most of the cases when everything's fine we've got peace the church is you know we're just having fun but church that's why we don't have this gift because if we would then the bar will be raised so high that so many some so many people would just leave the church but if you look in close enough it's exactly how church worked in the when the when the first church basically was because the consequence of that of that purity of the church was that no matter who entered the church they all ran ran with you know with fear in their eyes or they basically repented why because they entered the church and the first thing that happened there were prophecies and people would tell them exactly what they're dealing with what their sins are what their you know deviations are whatever and people had two choices run away or repent that's why people had respect to the church and they were afraid of the church one of these gifts that will be able to do this is the gift of prophecy or the gift of discernment and that's why on top of this i would say that at the end of time which probably we are looking at what's going on in the church not much time left 
this gift was going to be, at least in my eyes, one of the most important gifts to the church. And that's why I want for those of you who are having this gift to give yourself possibility and to do whatever you have to do to give God per permission to train you, to teach you, to help you to get on your feet and to really mature. Because you'll have to be able to deal with the darkness and you'll be the, the more you've been trained, you'll be shown more and more and more of it. You have to be able to withstand it. And then you'll be you you have to be able to understand why this gift was given to you, why you've shown what you've shown. Because on some of the cases you'll have to just basically tell the truth and fight. Because if you look close enough to be able to be really sub, uh, kind of um, proficient in this gift, you'll have to have gift of prophecy to really be close to your father. Probably have the gift of faith because you'll have to really go and do crazy stuff. Especially if, you, if you're going to go on organization on territorial level. And you'll have to have at least few other gifts to really high degree. So you'll be able to, 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 to be the force that will change the people, will change the organization, change, change the territories. And maybe you'll be part of the group of people who is doing spiritual warfare. Maybe you're going to put in a leader position. This way or the other. These people with this gift who are mature enough to really be fluent in it. You guys are going to change the world. And you're going to play on a top tier general level, people. This is your calling. So that's why do whatever you have to do to get on your feet. Because we will need you at the end of time. And this battle that is coming. So listen, this is what I want you to take from this video. One of the most amazing gifts is the gift of seeing the truth, which is gift of discernment. It's going to cost you a lot to, to operate this gift because you will see extreme darkness. But when you see extreme darkness, you're going to be given extreme authority to deal with it and, and kind of do what needs to be done with the truth that you see about people, about organizations and about territories. This is one of the most high tier gifts you can get. And it means that you've been given an amazing, I don't know how to call it, because this is, this is like being seen by your father that you can capable of dealing with the darkest of the darkness and the higher authority you can, be, you can be given to. So that's why if you've got this gift, I want to see that this is your honor to have it. Please do whatever you have to do to be fluent in it, to be trained. Because not only God sees that you can handle it, but we will, as a church, we're going to need you. So think about it and do something about it. Because what you've been given is the highest of honors. Make your father proud. If you liked this video, like, share, comment. If you didn't, comment as well. Tell me what you think and what is your experience. If there's anything you want me to talk about, just give me a shout. I'll be glad to talk about it for you. And that being said, see you tomorrow.